that side coming on. We've got five lights. And we're away. Bit of a slow reaction from the front, but it looks like the Quantum has still maintained position. We've got Jacob trying around the outside of turn one. McLaren has to give him a little bit of space that could give Jacob the good run that he needs to get up the hill. They're overlapping slightly just before they come into Eau Rouge, but Jacob does slip back in. And we've got a Williams has jumped the McLaren up to P3 now. Uh, I believe that's bait, mate. The grid's a little bit out of order. We often see that until they hit the first couple of sectors. As Jacob tries to go around the outside, gets squeezed right off onto the track. He's trying it around the outside. I don't think he's quite got enough to get there. McLaren's doing very well to hold the inside line. And he does get through in front with no dramas there. Just going to drop back a little bit. Oh, as we've got the Williams of bait, mate, coming together. One of the McLaren's wings is gone. I believe that was... Uh, was that... Oh, no, that was Wingman. It was one of the Renaults. It was one of the Renaults, and it's Skins. Oh, Skins. Skins has lost a little bit of his wing, and he's really struggling. He's getting swamped by the Red Bulls now as well, and this is the problem with having so many other teams around you. They're going to work together to try and squeeze you out. He does manage to maintain position, but Kuan is going to be very difficult for him with that wing damage. Don't know where he's ended up. Wingman has left the session. Uh, I wonder if that's because his race is over the Haas. Meek has retired from the session. He went straight on, and there's a full safety car. That was odd. I, I don't know what happened there at all. Uh, Batman hasn't Garrick's really. Hit him. <laughs> Batman's not let the safety car go. He's almost caught it. The final corner, and he goes. And the racing points got a run on him. That was a horrible, horrible start. Uh, by got, I believe he had a limited throttle. Yeah, he did not leave enough room. So the McLaren dives on. Sorry, the racing uh, Renault drives on the McLaren. I can spit it out. You got a uh, combat going side by side. With the Williams. Oh, this is going to be messy. Uh, it's either one of them going to yield. They're still side by side. The Renault's slightly behind, and he lets the Williams go in front. He's still under a lot of pressure from Williams. The Skins has picked up a three second penalty. Mr. Spicer just backs out a little bit. We've got a bit of jostling for position down. P8. Keep alive. Oh, Ali and Psycho. Oh, yeah, big incident. Big incident. Oh, is he reversed back into the track? And I do not know how that wasn't a worse incident than it was. He reversed straight back onto the racing line. It didn't look like he'd ghosted at all. Oh, we've got a racing point round. Jacob Meister's gone round. Jacob Meister's gone round. Yep, he's uh, lost it at Puon. Oh, dear. Uh, it's very unfortunate. He's lost some end plate as well. So that's very unfortunate for Jacob Meister there. Yeah, just a couple of laps to go, I think. And they run the soft tyre. We've got lights. Side by side with Wombi as they go through Irish Radio. There was a bit of contact. The Haas just goes spearing straight off into the wall. And that is him out of the race, I think. Oh, that was a horrible, horrible accident. I know he's still in it, but he's got no wing at all. How has he survived that? He went in hard and fast. And there is a full safety car from that. Unsurprising. That was a big, big incident. Let's give it enough time. He hasn't gone yet. He's slowly accelerating. And out of the final corner. And he's gone flat. Renault right behind him. Combat doing very well to just know exactly when he was going to go. And a hold position into turn one. Looks like uh, oh, McLaren and the Alfa Romeo are slightly further back. Change of position. Same with lights and wingman. And jump down to lights. Who's oh, they're three wide. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, there's a bit of contact. The Renault's off the road. We've got the Williams and the Alpha Terry as well. The skins, big dive into the bus stop chicane, and the Alpha Terry's following him. And the Jacob Meister in the racing point has hit the back of the Alpha Terry as well. The Renault's come out on top. Comes out of the bus stop chicane. He's pushing the Williams across the track. Under pressure from the Williams. The positions to the inside, but the Renault covers it off. And he runs very oh, deep, and he's off the track. And the Williams goes deep as well. And here comes the Alpha Terry. It gets blocked off by the Renault. And now the Williams is on the inside. He's going to hold. The defensive line into the hand, into the corkscrew. The Renault runs out very wide. And the racing point of Jacob Weiss is diving in as well. And he gets through past the Renault, but the side by side as they go through no name. The Renault takes a lot of curb. And oh, it's a contact. Oh, 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 Renault and the Alpha Terry have gone round. Lights are spinning oh. off. Oh. And he's got no wing. No wing left. Oh, that was such hard, oh. hard racing. So he stays very is this close. This is a mistake to from the Red Bull. Has he gone too early? Is the Mercedes going to be able to just go straight back past? Well, he's already got six tenths on him, though, so he's obviously trying very hard to uh, to keep the Mercedes behind. I've lost the intervals now. Unfortunately, the uh, the game's bugged out a little bit, but the Mercedes should have DRS as he does open it up. 
Red Bull going defensive very early, covering the inside line. The Mercedes goes to the outside. They're side by side. They go through turn five, and he gets the job done. Nice clean move. Going to jump slightly back to Nicky and Vassa. Oh, the side by side. Oh, coming back at him. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Alfa Romeo has gone, uh, gone through Going to jump back up to Ali and Keeper Who's side by side through the corkscrew Keeper is in front As they come into the corner with no name oh, So we've got the racing point of Jacob All over the back of Kinjay as well But I won't switch just yet Because Ali's making a move on Keeper Into the bus stop chicane He did this last lap and it didn't work out for him What's going to happen this time? He runs very deep Squeezes the Mercedes Mercedes tries to just switch back a little bit But doesn't quite have the optimal line And he loses the rear a little bit on the exit He doesn't have DRS And he's got a turn for Flyboy behind as well Who does have it So they come into turn one And he's still very close to them Stick with Keeper And the square area just behind We've got Jacob all over the back of the next train Oh, it's Flyboy runs very wide at the end of Sector 2, and it's going to compromise his run up the hill. Keeper was very tidy. And it looks like they're roughly matching deltas at four tenths. Hey, mate, coming through the final corner now. Yeah, jump up to him now. A great race from him. Very well done. Controlled the race after both safety cars and combat as well. Great race. Comes across P2, Quantum P3. Just going to jump back. Not much happening. No. So Ali comes across in fourth. Keeper fifth. Flyboy sixth. Wingman comes across in P7. And we'll take a, bra a breath now because that was basically yeah. non-stop action for the last three or four laps. Ah, oh, fantastic race. Mr. Spice, the driver of the day. In fact, yeah, I agree. That was a great race from him. He looked down and out at one point, but kept his head, stayed out long on the medium tyre and switched to the soft toward the end and managed to hold on to some good positions there. So well done to Batemate of Williams, P1, great race from him, Combat Rag, great race from him as well, nice and clean, finished in P2, as they spread the champagne, and then, I think that is, it was still a uh, oh, McLaren driver of, the Quantum Effects, still managed to get onto the podium, 